Merci. Merci. North shore of the Isiku, Grigorivka Pristai, beautiful sight. We organized the bad weather on the south shore for you, especially today. <laughs> I've just been swimming in the water. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> okay. But what are you going to do? Well, we're going to try to do the first complete circumnavigation of uh, Isiku <laughs> in kayak. Wow. Uh, it might have been done before. Probably not. Who knows? You don't think it's ever been done? I don't think. I mean, I'm here for almost 10 years at Belgium Youth Lodge, and mm -hmm. we, I haven't seen anyone kayaking around the Isiku Lake. So I think you're a hero already. But <laughs> let's see when you get back. But I do wish you all the best. And what, what are your expectations, actually? A lot of wind. A lot of nice people along the way. I'm Welcome, sure. Kyrgyzstan! Uh, Kyrgyz people have been absolutely great so far. And uh, yeah, something between 500 and 600 kilometers to paddle wow. in the next two to three weeks. Fantastic. Come, I'm excited and I wish you really a lot of luck and, and good weather and, and, and fun, of course. Yes, most of it. And let's keep in touch. Okay. <laughs> first strokes taken, I could finally enjoy the moment. With its emerald hills of tall pines and fir trees, the Kungi Halatu range proudly towered over me. Before my eyes, Isiko stretched as far as one could see, and the legends surrounding the lake's creation were many and varied. A well's forgotten lid, the punishment of a cruel leader, the bloody conflict between two enemy tribes. I was now trying to leave my mark on the historic waterway, a former stopover on the Silk Road. All right, just making our way into Cholponata. And uh, I think this is some sort of cultural center that I saw while doing the very little research that I did for this trip. Then this guy and his wife must be wondering, who the hell is this kid? Well. They've got their traditional dress, I got mine. First night on Easy Cool. I'm tired. <laughs> what a day. But it was fun. It's beautiful. Uh, if the next two weeks are like this, it's gonna be awesome. A few hours of sleep and then the Russians came and had a little party further down the beach with some freaking electro music and they left after a couple of hours but damage was done all right day two on Isikul uh, on our way to Tamchi on the North Shore yeah great day so far beautiful weather 20 degrees and then the water crystal blue waters 
I'm sort of in the shallow end right now, and uh, I don't know, it looks like we're in the, somewhere in the Caribbean. Looks like there's a bit of a system coming out of the mountains. Been hearing some roaring. So yeah, something to keep an eye on. Whee! The wind is now part of the game. And I don't think we're going anywhere today. Come to Kyrgyzstan, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Isikul, whose winds were the subject of mythical stories, was now taking me for a ride. Legend had it that Ulan, blowing from the west, and Santash from the east, were once two brave warriors in love with the beautiful and elusive Cholpon. Hopeless and not wanting to offend either of her suitors, the young girl had sadly chosen to cut out her own heart. Even today, the two Jigits continued their fierce battle, unable to put an end to the eternal discord. I was now caught in the vice of their passion, my paddle shows barely strong enough to keep me in place. In Tamchi, Nazira, Aybek and Rislam had opened the door of their comfy home for the night, where I was invited to fill up on warm noodles and freshly made kumis. While it was still early in the expedition, their hospitality and improvised welcome might have just saved the trip. Yeah. Shamal birden ke gas öldü o ey. All right, good morning. It is day four on Hisikul. Just left this little bay where I camped last night. After battling with winds all day long, we didn't cover much distance, about 20 Ks, which is not good. Uh, but yeah, beautiful day this morning. Should have a slight wind in the back. Destination for today, Balikchi, on the western edge of the lake former industrial fishing town uh, yeah not as much lively today from what I heard but let's see you know there's always charm even in these old Soviet towns we're used to find charm and, and, and everything aren't we so I'm having these old chocolates that the kid in Tamchi gave to me uh, <laughs> it was so nice when he said uh, when you're tired on the water just have one of these so thanks thanks little man what a difference compared to yesterday i mean you can see those waves just taking us lifting us to balichi which is about 15 k from here just feel incredibly blessed right now what a day for kayaking asiko This is a lake, but it's it's really it's an inland sea. When it gets going, it, it sure is going right now. Just got into Balikchik, the beach. Yeah, a bit early in the season, but they probably don't care. They're having fun. Yeah, this town has seen better days, unfortunately. That's a rough place. <laughs> but we're taking a little break from the lake and we're heading towards the village of Otuk. The reason we're doing that is because there's this really cool monument. So yeah, it's about a five minute walk from here. I'll see you over there. We're approaching the street and what do we got? Boom! Look at this. This is cool. So 
what do we have here? We got this old combat vehicle. And uh, we're not gonna enter and take this one of the seats because, well, we don't know anybody here. Out of respect. I was planning to go there for uh, for a little lunch break, but yeah, looks like that spot is already taken. Let's we'll see if we found our home for tonight. Здрасте. Здрасте. Six, easy cool. Kayak still there, which is always a good thing. Mountains still as beautiful. Um, yeah, this is uh, my typical breakfast: black coffee, oatmeal, some croissants, some well, some chocolate spread. And the secret ingredient to get all these kilometers racked up on the water: some maple syrup that's how you can paddle all day long our camp we didn't end up staying in the hunting shack it's full of flies full of crap full of a bit of everything but you know it's still nice so yeah looks like a nice day just at the beach 25 minutes ago and this local family I asked them if there was like a cafe or a shop or something they took me to this local restaurant Ashkana which might just be the only thing opened in this town and uh, boy what a beautiful place beautiful people I had this great soup it just warmed my heart now in this white building there's apparently some sort of warm bath some sort of public bath um, I don't know the danger with the bath is how do you go back to the to the water after that how do you go back to uh, the cold water <laughs> Easy, cool. I don't know we'll see well we just we just went to the banya it's actually it's, it's not called like that in, uh, in Kyrgyz tradition it's something else but it's these mineral waters coming from the mountains or the ground I'm not sure and uh, yeah I was out there for 15 minutes hot warm mineral waters just chatting with these local dudes who go to uh, this place a few times I don't know a few times a month maybe it's funny you know you think you're here for 10 minutes find a shop get some groceries instead I had this super super warm welcome a nice meal uh, nice little nice little bath now we're ready to go back on the water as the southern shore of the lake emerged so did its incredible lunar landscape the finely carved arid hills followed one another as did the herds of wild animals there wasn't not a human in sight, and outside of a lavish meal, there's not much more I could have asked for. All right, so destination for tonight, Kizil Tuhu. Am I pronouncing it correctly? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's sort of stuck in this little bay into the mountains right in front of us. We can see a couple of houses. Uh, so yeah, what a beautiful location. Who knows, maybe we get to stay uh, in a warm house instead of our little tent. We'll see. Oh, 
my god <rire> C'est tellement beau Здрасте. Как дела? Как дела? Как? Нормально? Нормально. А, Салам. Откуда? Меня зовут Уго, я из Канады. Из Канады? Да, я каякер а -а -а. из Сикули. А, скажите, пожалуйста, есть гостиница здесь? Есть. Да? Пойдет? О, oh, вау, wow. да. Постель положим, сделаем. Много туристов здесь? Сейчас мало. Раз, два, три. Ой! Ваш дети, э? Нет. Нет? Соседа. Соседа. As Rustam and his neighbors soon disappeared into the night to go fishing, I now found myself in charge of young Emir, who I was hoping to bring back in one piece to his parents later that night. Da, 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 da. Ты каяк, а? Только сейчас. На камеру. Фуцо каяк, а все и си кул. Канадис, пока. Келтер, кетти. As the days passed, the story was quietly writing itself. Welcoming characters and unforeseen situations made every day unique and unpredictable. All I had to do was follow the way. Still, I was now closing in on a week and due for some rest, as well as a break from the boat. And nowhere other than in the region of Bokumbayevo would I be better served, where a unique spectacle was waiting for me. Of all the local traditions kept alive by the Kyrgyz people, perhaps none more impressive for a Westerner than the century-old heart of eagle hunting. While no longer a part of the regular Kyrgyz nomad lifestyle, this felt like a must-see. Living with his family on a modest, isolated farm, Aitu was a well-known master hunter who had learned his craft from his father. Hi. <laughs> Hi Beltam, we're good to us. I Skatska Canyon. Uh, I think we can officially say we're halfway there. 
Arguably the most popular attraction in the area, Skatska Canyon was a natural stop for a short hike. Navigating the narrow paths carved by the passage of time, I made my way through a maze of orange-colored ridges and wave-like hills. A unique geological masterpiece, only highlighted by its quietness and the late afternoon sunlight. Привет. We're taking a little break from the boat to try to see what's up there. Looks like some plain monument with... Is that a goat? Здравствуйте. Как дела? Много рыбы? Да. Да? А, окей. Нормально. Не мотор, только, только, да, 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 красивое озеро. Откуда будешь? Я из Канады. Да, первый раз в Киргизии. Красивая, красивая страна. Да. I'm going to see the. Uh, the plain monument. Uh, uh -huh. Tamga. Here's the thing, these aren't exactly hiking shoes. These uh, kayak booties. The other thing I'm starting to realize is I'm becoming fairly conscious about how I smell. Oh, we've had a couple of showers. But these clothes, well they could use uh a little washing cycle, if you know what I mean. So, oh, this is cool. We've got the goat. We'll come back to the plane. There's no sign or anything, just a goat looking proudly at Isikur. And then, uh, this is what we came for this fire jet from, yeah, the Soviet days, obviously. And then, of course, the mandatory Tamga with a big heart. If you're mayor of a city, let me tell you this. You don't have to put the heart with the name of your town, okay? You don't need to do it. I mean, it doesn't fit the scenery, does it? It's just sort of out of place. But wow, what a view. Halfway through the voyage, and despite my good spirits, I could feel the weight of the expedition starting to take a toll on my body. It's not too late. It's 5 o'clock. But no, it won't advance too much. We're going to see, we're going to have a little camp of yurt. We're going to see what it says. At bike limping, I would spend the next two nights sharing meals, vodka and laughs across the enchanting side the team had just set up for the summer. Here, Kyrgyz and Russians lived like brothers and shared their passion for the surrounding mountains with whoever would stop by. On top of the hills overlooking Isikul's vastness, I was once again confronted by the daunting task at hand. A chance to admire everything I had so far accomplished, but also all of which remained. <laughs> But with each invitation to stay longer came a difficult decision to make. The clock was on and I had a little time to spare in order to beat the summer crowds. Was my itinerary worth missing out on unique moments and potential longtime friends? All of a sudden, the fine line between success and memories was blurred.
All right, we just arrived to what I believe is the former Soviet sanitarium that we could see on the map. Um, this is an incredibly calm and peaceful setting. It's just a completely different atmosphere from the rest of the lake. All right, let's go check what we have here. We've got these sort of grand stairs and these railings in front of the water and uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just sort of curious. Ugh. The things we do for adventure. So perhaps this could be one of the former buildings. I don't know, I mean, for all we know this could be shit and it's nothing. I don't know. I think that's our that's our go for uh, to get out of here and get back on the main lake. Здрасте. All right, so turns out this wasn't a sanatorium, but we talked with the owner of the dog, and he explained to us. Well, I'm not sure what he explained to us. I need to brush up my Russian, but he did give uh, he did give to me a bunch of strawberries for a little snack on the water so I mean that's how it's been since the beginning of this trip people just so so helpful and so generous so yeah we'll have a little snack on our way back to the main lake Finishing our meal in the tent. Ah, uh, man. I hope this thing holds on. Yeah, we're getting rocked out pretty hard on here. I don't know if we're gonna make it through this one. Well, I'll be alright, but the tent, it's up to her. Holy mama. Assalamualaikum. Closing in on two weeks, I was reunited with the vast openness I had grown accustomed to stare at. As I approached the eastern end of the lake, I was again blessed with a strong tailwind, my very last gift from Mother Nature. Здравствуйте, как дела? Хорошо. Вода холодна? Just left Ipo A camp moments ago, beautiful oast. And then immediately on our right is this Russian army base. Uh, I didn't think it was active anymore, but apparently it is. And they they produce, they build some sort of I don't know, like engines for torpedoes. That's what I've been told. So yeah, definitely not your uh, regular neighbor. We've actually, we've actually just been told by the uh, guard standing in the uh, watchtower to get the hat out of here. I don't think he's a big fan of us recording, so yeah, we'll try to get away from the from the shoreline a little bit. I mean, it's one thing to mess with the Russians; it's another when it's an actual torpedo producing facility. So. Let's not be stupid here.
The last rays of sunlight shone over Przewalski Bay as I struggled to return to the main lake. Facing west, the weather was slowly turning on me. There was a sense of heaviness and for the first time, I no longer felt welcome on Isikol. Despite the occasional lunch invitations, the scant diet I was subjecting my body to was rapidly shutting me down. And while exploring Hisiko in the off-season had its perks, it also meant most businesses I came across were closed. I needed calories and I needed them quickly. All right, let's see if anybody around here can help us. So we could certainly use a heated house for tonight. C'est tout le temps de la merde. Depuis quatre jours, le vent d'en face. Call in. Just going for a little change of gear based on the well on the current weather. trying to find uh, an entrance to the delta that leads to Coop or Toop, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, for a little water. I don't, I don't know if this is navigable. We'll see. From both sides, the bay divided itself into multiple branches, all leading to the unknown. With no food left and my energy levels quickly fading away, I took a left and chose to blindly put my remaining chips on the small village of Agbolun. Salam alaikum. In his modest dacha like home, Baktibek was happy to host me and help refill the fuel tank. After making myself comfortable, I was invited for a short walking tour of the village, which included a stop at the local orphanage. Looking back at the help I had received earlier on the shores from those kids, I wondered for a second if I really did deserve all of this. Пожалуйста, <laughs> 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 Привет! <laughs> Our tent for the night at poop spot, which is what it is. Poop spot for people, poop spot for horses. You know what? That's good enough for us. Last night on the lake, tomorrow, 40 kilometers, and that's it. Back in Gregorevka, and we're done with this lake. Done with this. From the shores of Ananievo, my friend Jakobiene had planned to join me to paddle the last miles together. As for me, I was coming back home a few pounds lighter, but the head filled with memories. You go! You did it! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> From the moment I had arrived, no Kyrgyz had questioned what I was trying to accomplish on their sacred sea. 
The door was always open and the stove ready to be fired up. In Kyrgyzstan, teapots are no bottom. <laughs> Sitting in the Mashrutka bringing me back to Bishkek, I watched the lake go by in silence. As thousands of tourists set to descend on the region, I thought about how lucky I had been. For three weeks, I truly had a sickle all to myself.